Lisa Whitaker. I'm the founder of Girls Skate Network. The website started out as a community. It was a place for girls to meet each other, find out about news events, and different things that were relevant to them. I started filming skateboarding about the same time that I started skateboarding. Like the first X game. I was originally filming mostly guys. Once I got sponsored and started traveling to some of the girls' contests that they started around 1997, there was plenty of people willing to film the sponsored guys, but no one filmed the girls, so I kind of just shifted my focus to shine light on them. Lisa was always filming. <laughs> Lisa and her camera sitting in a tree. F-I-L-M-I-N-G. This is one where Lacey got a nose manual on Nolly Burial Hill on the 3F three down. Yeah, these days were so much fun when you didn't have as many responsibilities. Just had a little camera light, which just gave them more so they could see. Filming street skateboarding, you can be at a spot all day and sometimes not get the trick. It's just part of the game. She has just always been a huge supporter of giving women, I don't know, a place for recognition. I wanted to make sure there was more out there to inspire the younger girls, the next generation. Like me. And I was just a fan. I just, I like, I like watching this one skate. <laughs> Over time, as like, I realized like the significance of it and how important it was and like what Lisa was really trying to do and what she's still doing. Something, you know, something's, something's never, never changed. changed. <laughs> We're in my garage slash Meow Skateboards headquarters warehouse. Do you want to take an eight and eight two five in case the eight doesn't work? I started Meow Skateboards in 2012 with Amy Crohn and Vanessa Torres at a time when most of the top girls in the world weren't sponsored and not getting any media support, any pro boards. I was in the position to do something for the next generation. I try to get the Meow team together and film as much as possible. We want to continue to stay involved and play some part in giving women a sense of community and support. Get that That's what's awesome about Meow. It's also so. just like a group of friends. Yeah. I've been documenting the women for about 20 years. And there's been several times in the past where I was like, oh, this is it, things are changing. But I think this time is totally different than anything I've seen in the past. It's exciting to see all the opportunities that um, the girls have now. Um, a lot of them are getting to travel the world for contests, um, more sponsorship opportunities never really happened before. I think we've really hit a tipping point. <laughs> it's just an uh, exciting time.